how well the sculptor understood him. Putting him on a pedestal, arrogantly standing, weight on one leg, arms folded, eyeing the river with obvious self-satisfaction. Oh, I grant you, he had the idea. Always one for ideas was Raffles. But who made it reality? Hmm? Who lifted his dreams out of the mire of the mangrove and the mudflats, despite the damned humidity and the petty racial bickering and the endless problems raising money from Calcutta? Whose sweat stains the plans? Whose fingerprints mark the foundations on which this city was built? Hmm? Mine and an army of others, anonymous servants of the mother country and the company, sweating out details and deadlines while Raffles romped about the region. Yes, while he was making his reputation, it was we who were making Singapore. Farquhar laughed when the anchor went down, and I said, here we are at last, the great Singapore River. <laughs> Surely you jest, he sneered, dabbing at the persistent sweat on his brow. <laughs> what could I do with such a man? Yes, it's a small river, but if only he could see further than that inviting bend upstream. You measure a river by more than its length for the depth at low tide. Behind me, a harbour to conquer the world. Before me, an ocean of opportunity was beckoning. And here I stood at the gateway of this great, albeit little, river. Huh. No, Farquhar, I said, my eyes fixed firmly on the future. I have never been more serious.